I want to make a comment too about because I play with De- DeAndre, I play with Dwight. Um, you know the the whole hack a shack thing. You know there was the hack of Dwight, there was the hack hack of DJ thing. Like I, I lived through that. I think Dwight shot like thirty nine free throws one game in Golden State when I played yeah. with him. People would always make the comment. Uh, you know, wh- why aren't they working on their free throws? And I was around these guys. I was around DJ for four years, around Shaq or uh, Dwight for six. Like, I, they're in the gym every single day working on their free throws. Was that a burden for you as a player? I wouldn't say it was a burden because it would piss me off because, like I said, when I'm in my house shooting, I look like you. And everybody would be mad that when I get in the game, it wouldn't convert. It wouldn't convert. I don't know if it was a concentration thing. I say it was a humbling experience from the man upstairs. Imagine if I played how I played and shot like you and Steph. What type of person do you think I'd be? Just think about that. So, but I had something that a lot of players don't have. When I needed to hit that motherfucker, I'm going to hit it. Every time. When I'm looking at people and they're depending on me, I'm going to hit that one every time. Like, that's why, I, like I, I told Charles and them, I said, percentages it don't matter if you don't hit the ones you're supposed to hit. See, a lot of guys, 70, 80% missed the one that they're supposed to hit. When I needed to hit them, in the finals. Not really say, when I needed to hit them in the finals, I'm going to always hit them. But I don't, I don't make excuses. I did practice. I practice, I, I practice on that more than I practice on my moves. You ever heard of Buzzy Brayman? Buzzy Brayman? Yes. The shot know. doctor. Okay. Yeah, he, yeah. Well, well, anyway, he was in Orlando. I work at every shot doctor, and I've watched everybody, and D. Scott, and Glenn Rice, and the L, and this. And again, when I'm at the crib, my shit was butter. But when I got in the game sometime. Did you, did you ever uh, see a sports psychologist for that? No. I don't need a sports psychologist. But I'm about to become a sports psychologist. I'm uh, enrolling in school in the fall. How many how many degrees do you have at this point? Uh, four. Four. This yes. will be your fifth? Yes, it'll be my fifth. That's incredible. Bachelor's, master's, doctorate, street. Street. Yeah, I have a street degree. And then I'm going to get one. And uh, Where did you get the street degree from? From the streets. School of heart. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you think I'm from the suburbs? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Young man. I'm just kidding with you. No, so, but I, I don't know. I Again, it's like one of the things I wish I had. Like, I, I think I pretty much had everything else, but I wish I could shoot. I wish I was a bona fide shooter. Like, I wish I had, like, the pretty form when I shot. It's just, you can't ever have everything. And then that's what that's what really makes me mad. Like, points-wise, I know you're an analytical guy. I'm at 28, 28,000, right? I missed 250 games because of injury. At averaging 28, but let's just bring it down to 25. So now they're what, 5,000 points? So that'll put me at 33. Let's just say I bring my free throw percentage up a little bit. I'd be at 30, 34, 36,000 points. That's your fucking fault that you didn't get there. So, you know, all the criticism that I take from other people, guess what? I criticize myself. That's why That's why that shit don't bother me. I'm not sensitive. If there's some truth in the criticism, I'm fucking eat it. And I'm be mad. You never see me, uh, like, you're right. I wasn't a great free throw shooter, but... I'm mad I miss, and then like you know, the, the games I missed wasn't my fault. Matt Geiger broke a thumb, six to eight weeks. Big baby, boom! One time Nick Van Exel threw me alive. I came down, and bust my kneecap. So one time in the game I was showing off, and I did the Merton Hanks, blew my motherfucking abdomen muscles. I sit out fucking six weeks. You, you don't remember that game? Well, I gave a dude an in and out dribble, and I laid it up, and was in the this life. Is with the Lakers. Yeah, and I, yeah. And I, you know who that is Merton Hanks, right? Merton well, Hanks? Yeah, Merton Hanks played for the 49ers. Like, every time he got an interception. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like so yeah, one yeah. day I did 36? a move. 36? Was it 30, yeah, number 36? Yeah. One of those numbers. Yeah. I fucking did like that. Yeah. The next day, I blew up my thumb on. So, yeah. you know, I'm not sensitive. Yeah. 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 I'm not sensitive. Y